What's going on YouTube? It's Giga here, bringing you some more Series 12 Wi-Fi battles with live commentary. We are continuing to use this really fun double team built by Adam San Tacos. If you haven't checked out the first video, I highly recommend you do. Uh, it's really showing off what this double can do. Um, so before we hop into the battle, as always, please remember to subscribe. We are working our way towards a billion subscribers and we really can't get there without you. So looking at my opponent's first team, it is a Zashi and Groudon team. It is Groudon, Incineroar, Venusaur with uh, Zashian, Grimmsnarl, and Rotom Heat. So an interesting take on Rhinya's son. Uh, so what, our Venusaur, Venusaur is a good max here uh, because it does have some good favorable matchups into a lot of its team. Uh, we haven't brought Venusaur or Incin at all. So, you know, it'd be kind of fun to, to you know, use Pokemon that are on this team. So I like Venusaur. I think getting up Residual is a really big deal. I like it with Ensign. Uh, Double, I think, is a, a good option overall. And if we can get rid of their uh, Rotom... Yeah, if we get rid of Rotom... I mean, not Rotom, Venusaur. Uh, Kyogre's in a really good position. I think it's slightly better than Dialga. Dialga, obviously, having to worry about um, Precipice Blades as well as a Sacred Sword. So, not liking that combination. But I think Double going to be the, the good choice here. Um... Sashin is obviously a little bit tricky with Sacred Sword, but we do have Fluffy, which should really sort of help take some of that damage. But I think if we can get up Vine Lash, that's going to be uh, really important for us. We are, okay, so we're no speed Ensign, which is fine. Um, we do have Snarl, which I think is cool, as we're gonna see Groudon Grim. So that's really great, right? We have the ability straight to go for uh, Vine Lash onto the Groudon, as well as Fake Out onto the Grim to stop any sort of um, screens. So getting that sort of potential guarantee, I mean, it's not guaranteed, right? I know uh, a lot of Groudon are shifting back to Citrus Berry. So Citrus Berry um, can be a little scary, but I'm fine just to go straight for the Vine Lash here, as well as uh, the Fake Out onto Grimmsnarl, right? We are getting that speed advantage for us. We do have the ability to uh, pop right out the next turn. I think you have to max Groudon here, just given the fact that... Um, Right? I mean, you could have a, a max in the back, which is fair. Uh, I think what we can also do is pivot out from... Uh, mm. Okay, so we're going to see Grimmy um, switch out, which is fine, into Rotom. Uh, also fine, right? We do have to worry about Rotom going for uh, a max flare. We could have potentially held off on uh, the Vine Lash, right, to get late residual, but I think this is fine. I think what's nice here is... We do have a good amount of special defense and an assault vest on uh, Incineroar, and Rotom really isn't going to be doing much to uh, Incin, so being able to fire off, I think, a parting shot, I mean, not a parting shot, uh, a snarl is going to be really huge. As we are going to see, yep, we are going to see the, the max Groudon. I think that that makes the most amount of sense here. What would be tricky is if you quake into my Incin, right? Quake into Incin, definitely going to, to be a little bit unfortunate, but also, like, not shocking let's kind of see how much damage we can do as fake out going to come out just do a, a tiny a very tiny bit to this uh rotom as we are going to be able to fire off a quick i mean not a quick a vine lash getting a decent amount of chip um we're gonna see unfortunate yeah the quake gonna come out into ensign ensign should not be able to take this uh ensign does take it which is a pretty big deal right because it means we do have another turn i would like to fire off a quake into the groudon just so venusaur can take it i mean venusaur also does have um uh, what's it called a focus ash i wish we had strike here strike would be really nice um i'm gonna go for another vine lash on a to groudon and i'm gonna go for a snarl just because why not? Uh, we do have, like I said, the Focus Sash, so we will survive an overheat from Rotom. So focusing down that Groudon, I think is important. We are unfortunately in the spot where we're not going to pick up uh, a knockout with another Vine Lash and recoil because they are over half. But I mean, like getting getting your Groudon low is always really nice. And with Grimmsnarl in the back, which is fairly passive, right? Um, we're in a, a good position as we are going to see the Rotom switch out. So that's good to see. This is uh, Grimmy gonna come right back in. So what what's nice here is you can only pick up the KO on one thing, right? You either knock out Grimmsnarl, I mean not Grimmsnarl, you either knock out um, 
Okay, we're just gonna see the the quake into Zacian, which I, I mean the, the quake into Insin, which makes sense. Um, we can at this point we can bring a double, right? Double has the ability to uh, start setting up. We could bring a Kyogre. No, I want to actually preserve the sun. Uh, I'm going to bring out double here, just with the idea that we can get up a, a cotton guard um, and set up that way. Uh, right, we, we have a we have to deal with a Rotom in the back, but we have Kyogre for that. So I would like to Vine Lash into the Grimmy, just trying to get um, some chip damage onto it as we can start setting up with double. This is Groudon at minus one. So that's always really nice. We do have to be weary of uh, Zacian in the back with Sacred Sword, but what I'm hoping to set up for us is a position where we still have both Venusaur and Kyogre, and uh, Double is set up. So you have to make a choice, right, of what are you going to target down? Are you targeting down that Kyogre, or are you targeting down uh, that Double? And then we can fire off really big body presses at plus six, right? So um, we're gonna see the scary face come out from the Grimmsnarl, so good tech to know there. Uh, what's important though is it went into um, Venusaur and what's even more important is uh, we still have our Focus Sash. Uh, unfortunately Groudon is going to be faster than our double as our, our fluffy sheep going to... You know that wasn't even bad damage. If we're going to be real here. Um, <laughs> that was really good damage. That was yeah totally fine. Uh, set up a nice little cotton guard. Going to try and get to plus six. I think we want to bring out Kyogre at this point. Um, it's unfortunate that Groudon will not go down to, uh, what's it called? Another, uh, it might go down to Vine Lash after not maxing. So I'm fine to swap out. Do I want to swap out? Do I care? Uh, an Earth Power we know makes me faster, so I want to Earth Power here and set up another Cotton Guard. Right, so that way even if you bring out Zacian, we're still in good shape. What's tricky now is... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, it's still a little tricky. We are going to see the Scary Face come out. I think that that's fine into probably Venusaur. Yep, Venusaur, still totally cool. Uh, we are going to see a Precipice Blades come out. So, breaking the Sash, which is... that's a lot of damage. We're gonna get Cotton Guard, so we are gonna be at plus six. So, uh, that's a really good spot to be in, right? We uh, can now go for big knockout... Oh! Oh, I was like, oh god, there's... okay, there's still Vine Lash. Uh, I would have liked Vine Lash to do a little bit more, right? We only really got it to deal some damage to Groudon. Um, Let's think here. So we should see, we could see a Rotom come out, right? Trying to pick off the Venusaur. And so if that's the case, most Venusaur don't carry Protect, right? So they're going to expect uh, a pivot out from that slot. So being able to go for a Protect with Venusaur and then attack with, okay, we're gonna see Zacian. So uh, <laughs> Zacian's gonna come out here. We can go for an Earth Power onto you. Can we see Powder? We're going to just go for a double up into Zacian, right? Um, Grimmsnarl should not be able to KO me. So if we can put Zacian to sleep, I think we're in great shape. We are going to see the Taunt come out. So uh, a very good call on their part as Sacred Sword going to come out into our little Fluffy friend. Our Fluffy friend is going to survive as a result of uh, Fluffy and... Okay, I didn't ex I did not expect a one shot into Zacian. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, wow. Uh let's think about this. Uh your last one is Rotom. I need to protect. I'm gonna Leaf Storm into Grim to finish it off. And I want to protect with double. I don't, I mean, I think the the crit was relevant, but also it's really funny. 
um, that Zacian got one shot. Um, anyway, <laughs> double is so good. Uh, yeah, it, it makes sense, right? You're trying to, to target down uh, double as Venusaur going to take a spirit break. We are going to live, which is a big deal. Uh, I don't think I can get the knockout, though, onto Grimmsnarl as a result of all the drops and the special defense boost. As uh, Cool. We are going to be able to, to get that off. Um, what's tricky now is... What? Uh, I mean, we have Kyogre. We have Kyogre in the back, right? Like, I can just switch out. I'm going to switch out Venusaur into Ogre. Uh, it does make things a little bit switch depend or uh, accuracy dependent, right? We only have Origin Pulse. Uh, but Body Press still into the Rotom. I don't think we... I mean, we shouldn't survive uh, Thunderbolt, but yeah, it looks like they're going to cancel. So, uh, great start. Glad we were able to utilize a Venusaur as well as Ensign. I know that we didn't get the chance to use them the first time around, but uh, helped set up for Double, and that's what we're here for. So, uh, great first battle, and let's just keep rocking and rolling and move to the next one. All right, battle number two, and it is Rinya Sun. Uh, not much to say there. So, did we face a Rinya Sun? I forget. Um, that being said, I like Grimmsnarl Kyogre with uh, Double and Ensign. I think that's probably our best bet. Venusaur feels... Yeah, Venusaur feels awkward. Um... No, let's stick with this. I think it makes the most sense. Uh, Ensign probably would have been an okay lead because of the Assault Fest. Um, but I think setting up screens is important. We can max Kyogre, right? Which is going to be really huge, especially if we can get it behind a screen, right? Being able to uh, really increase its bulk and then take advantage of its damage output through the um, Life Orb. So hopeful for that. Right, like Charizard not really going to be in a good spot as we can uh, Thunder and then kind of pivot around it. And we can also set up things like screens. So um, feeling good about that as the lead, we are going to see a Grimmies, Grimmies Charizard. So um, that's awesome. I do expect, so what? I do expect a Swamp into Groudon. Uh, I still would like to set up a light screen and I'm going to lightning the Zard, right? So that way, if you switch out into Groudon trying to uh, set up the sun, or if you switch into Gastrodon trying to absorb uh, a hit, we're avoiding that as much as possible. I think that that's a little scary, right? Because of the fact that Grimmsnarl can have T-Wave. So we have that ability. We're going to see no switch, which I think is a very interesting call. Um, we are going to see Charizard get real big. What's good, though, is if we get rid of Charizard, right? Like, Double is in a, a really good spot. We saw how well it can take a hit from Zacian. And especially if we can get a Reflect up, right? Like, that that really helps us out. We can uh, easily get to plus six. And then, like, Grimmsnarl, not really going to be doing a ton of damage. So, ooh, I didn't even notice that it was a, an event. Um, Kyogre. That's very cool. Sorry, uh, distraction. But yeah, let's let's kind of see where we can position ourselves. I'm feeling good about this, especially with the light screen, right? We should be able to take a hit. Um, they probably are going to set up a light screen of their own as, okay, you're just going to max guard. So that's fine, right? We're going to see a scary face. Totally fine as well. This would have been a really nice chance to, to go for damage, but we're going to reveal the, um, what's it called? The lightning. So... I still think it's worth going for a Lightning to help deal with Gastrodon better. Uh, we also, that's annoying. We don't have T-Wave. Um, I'm going to set up a Reflect and go for another Lightning into Charizard, right? This is saying even if you want to switch out into Gastrodon, it's not going to matter. Uh, we should see a Groudon come out here, right? Yeah, okay, so we are going to see the Groudon. So Groudon going to change the weather, boost that damage, but I'm hoping because of the Light Screen, we're still able to tank hits really well. Um, Kyogre is going to be real slow, but not necessarily uh, the end of the world as Wildfire gonna come out into Grimmsnarl. Bye bye Grimmsnarl, you did your best. Um, what do we have in the back? Oh, I have Ensign. Uh, Ensign, 
Instant is nice here because, okay, okay, your life orb, okay. Uh, you have no screen up, so this should, I wanna say KO. Yeah, it's gonna KO, sick. Uh, at this point, we have electric terrain up, so we're not worried about Gastrodon. Uh, we have both screens up, so I am totally fine to bring out double and just kind of start taking advantage of what it can do, right? And yeah, Life Orb, Life Orb on the Ogre, really putting in work here, getting us that knockout. Also, there's no screens, um, so that's good. I'm totally fine with that trade of uh, Ensign, I mean, uh, Grimmsnarl for Charizard, because it's your max option, as we're gonna see Grimmy come back out. So Grimmy, totally fine. Uh, double going to absolutely just start setting up. We can go for a Cotton Guard here, uh, as well as let's Hailstorm into Groudon. I still don't know if you have Gastrodon or Zacian in the back. Uh, both are still scary, but I think it's fine. And we do have the ability to pivot out into Incin. So uh, feeling good about that. We are going to see uh, the light screen finally come up from this Grimmsnarl. Uh, a little bit too late in my opinion, but that's still fine. Precipice Blade's going to come out. Uh, double taking pretty much no damage as a result of that Fluffy and the Reflect. Going to get right up to plus three. Uh, one more, and we are just going to start annihilating uh, what's left. What's great now is <clears throat> Hailstorm is going to change the weather, right? So it's no longer going to be uh, sun. So we can go for a geyser. I think they have Zacian in the back, which is why uh, we are not seeing... What's it called? We're not seeing um, a, a switch out here. So if that's the case, I do... Uh, I don't need to... I'm just trying to think of if it's worth going for a geyser. Probably not because we we do want to switch out into um, Ensign, right? Um, double is a little bit low in my opinion. The the wildfire and the hail uh, definitely are a little unfortunate. So oh ooh. Mm. Uh, go for another cotton guard. Let's go for an origin pulse. We don't have a, a reason to go for anything else. If you have. Uh, Gastrodon in the back. Gastrodon not going to like this. We do still have to be weary, though, of things. We are relying on an inaccurate move. We also don't have the weather, which is unfortunate. We are going to see the, the Grim Snip switch out. So question of what is in the back. It is going to be uh, that Zacian, which is something that was of concern. So what's good here is, right, we can switch out into uh, Ensign as a Precipice Blade. It's going to come out once again. Oh, that is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage onto both my Pokemon. Um, if we hit the Origin Pulse, double connect, perfect. This should do a really sizable chunk onto uh, the Zashi. Oh, there, you have a, a light screen up, I forgot. Um, okay, we can switch out into Ensign, right? We're, oh, is Kyogre gonna go down? That's bad, that's really bad. Um, uh, that's fine. That's fine, right? If we go down to... Okay, we still have Wildfire. Um, uh, let's think about this. Let's think about this. Kyogre goes down. We get to bring out Ensign. Ensign guaranteed fake out or Intimidate that's going to stay. We KO. We fake out the Zacian. That's what we do. We fake out the Zacian. We body press the Grimmsnarl to get the KO. Uh, then we force a double up into Zacian with Flare Blitz and uh, Body Press and get the KO that way. So yeah, we, we gotta go there. Um, yeah, Body Press. I mean, this is plus six at um, Zacian. We also do have a Reflect Up, so you shouldn't be able to KO um, Instant anyway. As we are gonna see the, the Protect, I could have fake outed into Grimmsnarl, but I just, I didn't want to risk it. I think it, it wasn't worth the, the risk there. As we are going to see uh, the obvious reflect come out, I would like to still hit you with a plus six body press. And then uh, I don't think we're going to actually get the knockout here. Yeah, we're not going to get the knockout there. But uh, Zacian did just go for a protect. So we do have the ability to fire a flare blitz onto it. We do have our, our own reflect up. So that should really sort of help with uh, damage mitigate. Oh, there's wildfire? Okay, uh, that's bad. Um, that's fine. Uh, we can still body press here and go for a Flare Blitz onto the Zacian. 
We do have hail, so hail actually is working in our favor because it means that uh, our damage is not reduced. So we can survive a hit barring a crit. Um, so that's, yeah, as long as it's not a critical hit, we are good. Uh, I could have doubled up Ensign. Yeah, Ensign gonna take uh, absolutely nothing. That's going to let us, oh, <laughs> gee. Double going to fire off a big body press into this Grimmsnarl, picking up the KO. And then this Flare Blitz going to be able to uh, come right out and finish this Grim, or not finish this Ashian. Yeah, and even if it didn't, right, like we still had two Pokemon that could target into it with uh, a body press and a Flare Blitz. You can only KO one. So yeah, glad that we were able to to pull this one off. Um, once again, glad to to use some of the other Pokemon on the team, right? It's always fun to to see that. And it's always also fun to beat Ridden Your Sun, right? We, we just love to, to see that. So overall, uh, another great battle and let's just keep rocking and rolling and play one more. All right, last battle of the day and it is Necrozma, Duskmane and Zacian. This is a, t this is a team. Uh, Necrozma, Urshifu, Whimsicott, Decidueye, Zacian, Zapdos. Um, Grim, Grim Dialga? Who has higher defense? 140 versus 117, Dialga? Grim Dialga with double Za Ensign? I'm really weak to her Shifu. Let's do it. They got no fake out. We can set up a screen. Um, yeah, we have, okay, we have, we have Sucker Punch with Grim. So uh, we can set up. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, perfect. Um, did I bring Insta? I think I did. Yeah, we have we have double priority versus an Urshifu as we're gonna see Necrozma Decidua. We have Grimmy. Uh, I'm gonna taunt the Necrozma for a potential Trick Room and I would like to Wormwind the Decidueye? I don't know what's happening here. I really don't. Um, was it smarter to set up screens? I, I, yeah, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be real here. I have never played Decidueye on ladder. Uh, Decidueye, oh, please don't be Zacian. Sometimes there's just nothing to say. This is one of those times. All right, well, big Necrozma. We have... So this was a completely useless turn uh, in the fullest effect uh steel spike gonna come out into grim uh that's unfortunate that's really unfortunate um i'm i have to assume that you're physical um oh i didn't bring insin <laughs> oh no um we bring out double. <clears throat> oh god, that was instant. Oh no, I needed instant here. Um, I don't know what Kyogre is gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna go for a protect here. I'm going to max Wormwind, or can I Steel Spike? Steel Spike is pointless. I'm gonna Wormwind into the Necrozma. 
Uh, just to try and help double out a little bit. I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to uh, double sweep. I should have. Why didn't I quake into Zashi? Okay, okay, good start, good start. Um, we're going to get an attack drop off onto this Necrozma, right? We can. That's good damage. You know, I'm gonna. I will say that is very good damage. Uh, we do get the attack drop onto both, which I think is uh, important as we're going to see another steel spike into double into my sheep sheep <laughs> um sheep takes a, a whopping six damage uh also oh you're raising your defense you're not quaking so i very much can quake into your zashian um and set up so i'm gonna go for a cotton guard here and i'm going to do what i should have done last turn uh which is max quake the zashian we're gonna see a Sacred Sword come out on Dialga. This is gonna proc my weakness policy. Uh, so goodbye to your Zashian, as you're going to get absolutely uh, eaten up by this Max Quake. More importantly, we can, um, oh, love it. Uh, more importantly, double is faster than Necrozma. So what that means, right, is we can double up into Necrozma with um a body press and earth power to get around any sort of weakness policy shenanigans which we i mean we need the double up anyway otherwise we're in bad shape as a quake gonna come out onto dialga onto dialga um necrozma doing absolutely nothing necrozma i want it to work so badly but it just isn't that good uh anyway a restricted is down we still are very afraid of her Shifu. And if my opponent brings it out, I'll probably cry. Um, please don't bring out it. Please say you left her Shifu at home. That would make me like so happy. I don't know why her Shifu is relevant again, uh, but it absolutely decimates my little sheep. And we don't like that. Uh, this is, okay, so Decidueye is gonna come back out. We are out of max. I don't know what Decidue I can do. So I'm going to. I'm going to body. Or iron defense. I mean, cotton guard again. And. Let's earth power the Decidue I. I mean, uh, the Necrozma. Words. We did a. Like, I mean, given that Dragon was not very effective. And we hadn't triggered a weakness policy and it did that much. I feel like earth power after the weakness policy should be enough to to finish like this off um we're gonna see the shadow sneak okay so you're gonna <laughs> oh all those steel spike boosts didn't matter um well we know we now know what decidueye does the issue is dialga is faster so bye bye you tried your best necrozma um we're going to get up another cotton guard. So now we have a plus six sheep with payback. So we can hit this Decidueye. I'm curious as to what else it does. Um, yeah, that crit was definitely unfortunate. I don't think... Oh, God. Oh, God. Hello there. The angel from my nightmare. The shadow in the background of the moor. The unsuspecting victim. <laughs> um, we got to double this thing up. I don't know how I'm gonna beat this Urshifu. Actually, can can finish me off. Um, hello there, the angel from the shadow in the bed. Unsuspecting victim. Okay. Uh, please die. No band. Oh, banded sick. Leaf Blade! How much is it gonna do? You! <laughs> that was a stab hit. Amazing. Uh, we're gonna bring out Kyogre just to, to finish this off. We got a nice little uh, Ice Beam and Payback coming your way. So, <laughs> this team is an, an incredible. Um, 
I will say like I've I don't think I've ever used a team where I've gone uh, undefeated in every single battle I've used it in uh, and this this team is so it's great um, double is absolutely amazing the fact that it gets plus three instead of plus two so you only need two turns of setup is huge uh, you throw in screens and like nothing is touching you on the physical side um absolutely amazing so huge shout out to adam this team is is like one of the best teams that i've i've ever played with this is a team i would bring just everywhere um double incredible pokemon definitely check it out definitely check out adam um, also subscribe so we can get to a billion subscribers. I mean, if you made it to the end of the video, you definitely should. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll use something next time. I will be away for the next couple of days for New Jersey. So we'll talk about that more when I get back. But yeah, with that, uh, until next time, I hope all of you are wonderful and I'll see you then.